Fall is my absolute favorite season. It's such a great time to be outdoors. I'm gonna give you some awesome tips on how to create a festive and functional fall front porch that will add some major curb appeal and character. I'll be creating a cozy hub for hanging out on those crisp fall days and nights, a space that can really act as an extension of your home. And the best part, you can totally complete this project in a day and you won't break the bank doing it. Okay, here's the plan. We're gonna spruce up the front door with paint and new hardware, replace the light fixtures, add new house numbers, bring in planters with fall plants, sprinkle in some fall themed accessories, swap out the doormat, and finish it off with a fall wreath to pull the whole look together. Up first, the front door. I really want this to be the focal point of the whole porch, so I'm starting here. Paint is the easiest way to create instant change and impact in any space, and painting your front door is so simple that you actually could do it seasonally if you wanted to. I do. This blue color was perfect for summer, but going into the fall, I'm actually gonna use a color called Autumn Spice. Doesn't get more fallish than that. It's gonna be the perfect foundation for everything I have planned. I'm gonna remove the door to make it easier to paint. That's optional, you could also paint your door in place. Before I paint, I need to remove the hardware and I'm gonna give it a quick sanding to make sure the surface is nice and smooth. Wipe it down and then I can get on some paint. For this front door, I'm using an Outdoor Paint Plus Primer. And what I really love about this particular Season Flex product is that it's ready to go in just two hours. And that really matters when you have the front door of your home taken off. You want it to be as quick as possible. Now, as far as the color goes, I have gone with Autumn Spice. I told you it's like the most fallish thing ever. It's kind of a mix between an orange and a yellow, and it's giving me all the fall vibes. I think it's gonna look perfect. There are tons of different fall colors that can work. Think of some of your favorite things about the season and try and get color inspiration from there. Once the paint is dry, I'm gonna add new oil rub bronze hardware to give the entire door a fresh new look. Another way to improve curb appeal is with lighting. I'm gonna swap out these pretty basic builder grade lights with something with a lot more texture and character. It's really gonna impact the porch. For a more traditional look, you could try this elongated scrolly lantern. For a vintage feel, try this rectangular lantern. Or for a rustic style like I'm going with, try a caged lantern with an aged metal finish. So the lights that I'm swapping out for are significantly bigger. They're much more substantial. And here's a couple things that I like about them. They kind of have almost like an aged metal look to them. So that's kind of adding a lot more texture. And one thing that I really wanted to be aware of, I wanted a light that had glass all the way around the front so I get a solid amount of illumination up here on the porch. House numbers are an under the radar way to add some great curb appeal to your front porch. A lot of times people don't even think about the impact that the numbers can have, but it can make a pretty big one. For this house, I've chosen to go with kind of a clean line modern number. It's gonna add just a little bit of contemporary flair to this front porch and work really nicely with all the other metals we have. Placement of your numbers is important to get maximum impact for your space. You could choose to put them on your front door, on your house, your mailbox, on a column, or you could even build yourself your own custom display for the numbers. You'll notice I want the coordinating finishes on my door handle, lights, and house numbers. They don't have to match exactly, but keep the finish in mind so that they're complementing each other. I want the combination to look intentional, not accidental. My summer plants and flowers are just about at the end of the road, so I'm gonna replace them with something that's really hardy and will last throughout the fall. What I'm going with here are three different types of evergreens. I have an arborvitae, a juniper, and then a winter boxwood. All of these are really hardy. They can handle the cold temps and they're gonna look great throughout the fall and the winter. And of course, I'm adding some beautiful colored mums. I mean, would it be fall without any mums? I say no. <laughs> Little design tip here that I wanna mention is that I'm tiering my planters. And by that, I mean I'm using three different height planters. This is gonna add some visual depth. In addition to tiering the heights, I'm also choosing different materials. So I have this black textured planter, I have a light colored ceramic planter, and then my favorite, this is a basket planter. I picked it up at Lowe's. It has a plastic liner. It's gonna be perfect for this winter boxwood. Another really popular option would be to add some hanging baskets, but for this porch, I'm just sticking with ground planters. What's a fall porch without some awesome seasonal accessories? I'm gonna add some throw pillows, some little accents, and also I'm using faux pumpkins. I love these because they'll last throughout the entire season and we can use them year after year. 
A doormat is a great place to bring in some style and personality on your front porch. Here's a pro tip. Try layering a doormat over a larger outdoor rug. You can mix and match all kinds of patterns and styles to create a custom look that's perfect for your home. We're gonna add a fun fall wreath to the front door to finish off this look. A wreath is a great way to add some personalization because there's so many different styles, shapes, colors. To hang mine, I'm just gonna use an over the door hook. Pop it right on, it's easy as pie. Pumpkin pie, of course, for the fall. One day of work, seven simple steps, and this front porch is totally ready for fall. I cannot wait to spend time out here with my family. It's the perfect space for us now to move into this season. I love the fall, I love this makeover, and I hope that you do too. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. And as always, all the products used throughout this video are linked in the description below. And guys, make sure you're subscribed to the Lowe's YouTube channel. You don't wanna miss a single project.